Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you a free sample from our Essential Shape Pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so you can download this title by clicking the link in the description below. Then you will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. You will get this folder. In the folder you have a couple of things. You have the license, instruction and DRFX file. Just double click on the DRFX file to install. There is no font in this download, so no need to install font. And here you can just click install. Now your title is installed on the computer. To find it, you can just go over here in effect, title, and here you can search for sample and you will uh, basically have your sample right there, along with all the other sample that you may have from us. You can also easily find it here by clicking in the title dropdown, then Video Editor Studio, and here you can just scroll down to sample. And that's all the pack that you may have from us or not. And here you have all the sample that you may have from us or not. So then you can just take it, drag it here in your timeline, and let's go through together to what you can do with this title. So the idea of the entire pack and this specific title was to basically bring shape element from the Fusion page to the edit page. So it's easy to just play around with shape directly in the edit page. So here, if we check in the inspector, as you can see, we added a lot of functionality. So you don't have to go to Fusion to use it. You can do everything right there. So first thing is that you have an animation in and you have an animation out. You can choose between a bunch of different animation in and out. So here you have pan right, pan left, rise up, drop down, zoom in, zoom out, and none. So you can decide to uh, not have any animation if you don't want any right there. And it's basically the same thing for animation out. You can choose from the same animations. Another cool thing is that here you can adjust also the animation length in seconds. So right now this animation is about one second. And here, if we want, we can just double it to two seconds. And now we will have an animation that is twice as long. You can extend the length of the animation up to five times, then that's the limit. And you can go uh, down to a minimum of 0 0.5, which will be twice quicker than the original animation. So here for the look of the shape, you can choose basically in a drop down if you want it to be a solid or if you want it to be a hollow. So basically here, the outline of the circle. You can adjust here the size, the position and the angle. Down here in shape control, you have control over the opacity levels uh, over the soft edge. The border width, which will be more relevant here if you're using the hollow version. So you can basically adjust here the border width of that outline. And here the width is basically increasing the size of the original shape, where here size and position is adjusting uh, the size of the entire frame. Now we have color control. So here you can pick any color that you would like. So here, for example, we could switch it to red. You can also here do a gradient by just selecting gradient. And here you could just pick any gradient color that you would like. So here we go. Right now we just created a simple gradient. Right now I'm just gonna go back to solid. So I'm just gonna double click on it to set it to solid color. And here double click on color to set it back to white. Basically every time you double click on the parameter, you will reset it to the default settings. Then here we have two drop down, duplicate control and transform control. Those two allow you to basically duplicate that shape and create new shape out of it. There is basically handless possibilities because of those two drop down. So here duplicate control, you could have here copies. So we have, for example, here two copies. I could just do three instead, but as you can see, they don't appear uh, right away. You will need to basically uh, adjust here the position so you can move them to the side. So right there, we've basically pushed them to the left or we could uh, push them, for example, here downward at an angle. You can as well here adjust the size, but the size will basically affect uh, the circle in a different proportion. And then here in transform control, you can basically duplicate that whole thing multiple times. So for example, here, if we go down to edges and we click on wrap, and now we just bring the size down. As you can see, we're creating an entire wall duplicate of those shape. So you could create a bunch of background element with that, for example. Here you can as well adjust the aspect, obviously the position as well of this. Uh, you can flip it horizontally or vertically, and you could adjust the overall angle as well. Right now, I'm just gonna reset everything to default. So then here in glow control, you can adjust the glow of the shape. So here we could add a bit of glow right there, could adjust the size and intensity of the glow. 
And then here in shadow control, you could add a drop shadow to that shape. So right now we're in a black background, so I'm just gonna bring here another color behind. So now that we have a different color for the background, I could here adjust the shadow strength and then we could adjust the drop distance. So here, as you can see, we're creating a shadow right here. We could adjust the blur to have it uh, a bit more faded, for example, so it looks a bit more natural. And we could adjust also the drop angle. So here we can put the shape basically on any angle that we would like around that shape. And then the last one is here, background. So you have a couple of cool options in background is that here. First off, it will help you to basically create more separation between your shape and your footage. So here you can raise the opacity and you will get an animated background uh, with the shape. So if we play it, as you can see, we have a fade in animation of the background. We could adjust uh, here also, for example, uh, the width. We could adjust the height. We could adjust the corner radius, for example. We could also invert it here. There is really plenty of possibility and plenty of things that you can do. And on top of that here, we've added a DVE. Uh, so basically you can adjust the perspective of your shape here on different axes, on the X, Y, and Z axis. And if all that isn't enough, you can at any time go here into Fusion uh, to add or remove anything that you would like. If you want to check the full pack, you can just click right here and it will bring you to uh, the page on our website. This is a sample from our shape pack that basically contain 10 different shapes that you can fully customize, like I just showed you. They will work with every frame rate and any resolution, so please check them out on our website if you enjoyed this sample. Let me know in the comment what kind of pack you would like to see next. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye! Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.